today I want to talk about traditional Chinese medicine, food energetics, and how this affects your dog. Food energetics in traditional Chinese medicine is a simple way to look at your dog's food. And really, when you do and you start learning more about it, it makes a lot of sense. Basically, your dog falls into the category of neutral, cool, or warm. And you can understand if your dog runs cool, warm, or neutral by their behavior. So a neutral dog is one that is in balance. Like my dog Izzy, she is a pretty neutral dog. She is able to maintain and develop warmth. She does show signs of coolness at times, but not when she shouldn't. She is quiet inward, she's a confident dog. Foods that she eat don't really affect her warming or cooling state. And this is really important to understand because when looking at TCM food energetics, really it comes down to the food. So for example, turmeric, that is a warm or actually it's a pretty hot herb in food energetics. So if I give my dog Hudson, who happens to run warm turmeric, he can start flaring up even though it's an anti-inflammatory. Whereas my dog Izzy, who runs neutral, she tolerates it just fine. Her body is in balance. So let's talk about warm dogs. My dog Hudson is a warm dog. He likes to lie on the cool floor. He seeks out areas that are cooler. While he likes to sunbathe, he gets hot pretty quickly. He's not super interested in cuddling all the time because he gets overheated fairly quick. We've always joked that Hudson is like a furnace and that's because he does run warm. Dogs who run warm can be restless at night. They also might have dry skin. They can have inflammation, allergies, anything that makes their skin um, hot is basically showing signs of inflammation and therefore running warmer. So on the opposite end of that you have a cool dog who shows signs of wanting to cuddle, seeking warmth. Our foster puppy Jane will lay in front of the heater in my office. She's a cooler dog. So she wants to be under blankets. So what do you do when your dog runs either cool or hot? Well, you can adjust what they're eating to help with any sort of inflammation or feeling too cool or too hot or warm. So cooling foods that you would feed to a dog that runs warm or hot. So for example, what I feed to my dog Hudson, rabbit, um, duck, fish, those are all cooling proteins. Kelp, spirulina, flaxseed, kale, spinach, celery, bro broccoli, those are also all cooling foods that you can feed to your dog that runs warm. Now, on the opposite end of that spectrum, Warming foods that you would feed to a dog who is showing signs of being cool would be chicken, turkey, pheasant, trout, lamb, mutton, venison. Those are all actually pretty hot. Um, squash, sweet potato, anchovy, mussels, goat's milk, and turmeric. Oh, and ginger. Those are all warming foods. Now, for your neutral dogs or Foods that can be fed to a cold or hot dog because they're neutral are, again, some fish, herring, sardines, salmon, beef is a neutral food, pork is a neutral food, um, cabbage, green bean, peas, those are all great neutral foods. And I have a full sheet on this that you can print out and save. Um, if you look in the comments, there will be the link to it. So especially if your dog is suffering from allergies and inflammation, definitely take a look at what TCM's food energetics can do for your dog. Now, for those asking, well, how the heck did this get decided and why are you basing your foods based on traditional Chinese medicine food energetics? Well, it's because TCM looks at vitamin and mineral contents in addition to the sensations that that food have on our bodies. And if you eat a warmer food that has ginger or turmeric on it, you will notice yourself that you get warmer. So this is actually something that's been practiced with humans for hundreds and hundreds of years. So it would make sense that we think about it similarly for our dogs as well. 
I hope that this information was helpful to you and please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more updates on informative holistic dog care videos.